It's now time to call upon our Outlook business wow change maker who dreamt, who dared and who chose to take the path less traveled. Taking us through her fascinating journey on women empowerment that has ensured a sustainable livelihood for economically disadvantaged women in Northeast is none other, ladies and gentlemen, than our Outlook Business Wow Change Maker, Monisha Behel, founder, Northeast Network. Monisha, if you're in the room, please show me. Oh, there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, warm round of applause. Uh, it's getting very late. Getting late for me because I'm a little diabetic. Thanks to the amount of work that we did since the 70s. I'm from Assam. My name is Monisha. Uh, we have an organization called Northeast Network. It's an uh, organization with a very liberal feminist perspective. And the main agenda here is three. One is we saw a lot of domestic violence in homes of people. Even in a place like Meghalaya, where people say it's matrilineal and the women are very powerful, <coughs> I think it's wrong. We did enough research to see that it's, it's, uh, the crime rate is very high, child sexual abuse is very high. The second we found was that women in Northeast, it's surprising, they're not even allowed to uh, get into any governance system. They cannot be a part of the local governance. Uh, but Panchayat, yes, in Assam you are allowed to participate, but not in the hill states. The third thing is about biodiversity. Women are the workers, they are the agriculture workers. And we went right on with two things, and that is to bring up their crafts. And the second one is their agriculture productivity. We are bringing out millet, just like China and Indonesia, one of the best and the most nutritious diet you can think of. We are trying to market it, but like Kadam says, it's very difficult, difficult. The second one is about the weaving. All I want to say is that women in Northeast are very, very talented people, but they are not in control of their weaves. We always say they are talented and they're very empowered. I don't think so. And the reason is only one, and I'm glad I've been invited to this event, because we need to recognize just one thing in rural women, and that is they should take control of financial literacy. They should know what is inventory management. They should know how to do online sales. They should also recognize vendors outside. This is all I will say, and I hope the corporates in India start recognizing that if women control these productive resources, but through the digital media and the IT, I think things will be better. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for sharing that story straight from the heart. Thank you very much.